also after the craziness of the last 72 hours, the absolute insanity of trying to get here, uh, I get to wake up to this. Is this amazing or what? I'm in Bregenz, Austria right now, and behind me, now let's see if I can say this right, is the Obersee Bodensee Lake. It's a pretty unique location because to the left of me, across the lake, is Switzerland. And to the right is Germany. And I'm here in Austria. I get to see three different countries all from one spot. <laughs> what a spot this is. I mean, I, from getting to New York, not being able to get on the plane, and try to figure out where am I going to sleep that night, to being able to wake up to this. <sighs> wow. It's, it was a... A crazy journey and uh, this this little beautiful place makes it all worthwhile and enjoying my third espresso of the morning <laughs> Gosh, that's my second espresso was spent shooting the video and forgetting to turn the microphone on oh I better learn to use my equipment better but good practice for me right anyway the concert last night was so much fun uh, we were performing in the workshop of a master woods wood craftsman. His name is Elmar Kelb, and he had designed this beautiful wooden and carbon fiber flute case for Jasmine. I mean, this thing is just incredible. It's so lightweight and yet so strong. And I, mean, I you know, I, I've done a little bit of woodworking, believe it or not, in the past, and I, I couldn't see where the seams were. It was just, it's like magic a truly gifted craftsman and you know uh, it's also very impressive he turned his workshop into a makeshift recital space and it was so clean and now you know wood workshops are always full of dust and and but this place was immaculate i i'm sensing a, a lot of austrian character in my experience performing last night in terms of this this love of excellence this love of craftsmanship and this love of beauty and the arts uh, to such a high level. The people were so warm-hearted, so welcoming and engaging, and even though I, uh, I, I, I can't speak any Deutsch and I can't speak any German, everybody, was, I mean, everybody speaks English. They're far more intelligent than I am. And uh, boy, just they were so engaging and uh, oh, just, just delightful. I'm enjoying the people here so much. And with scenery like this, I can see why great musicians all over the world would come, and artists would come here to be inspired, inspired by the mountains, the beauty of nature and the lake, and wow, this is truly an inspiring place. And seeing Master Kelb's work last night got me thinking of, um, and really looking forward to, seeing the piano factory, the Bussendorfer Piano Factory in Vienna. And I'm sure there, there's a correlation between this love of the arts, this love of craftsmanship and technical excellence with such a beautiful heart. I'm, I'm sure this is, these are all the things that Bussendorfer encapsulates with their pianos. So I'm so looking forward to seeing what that, uh, what that workshop, what that, you know, what that factory looks like. I've heard such legendary things about it. Um, anyway, I thought I'd uh, slow down for a little bit. <laughs> Too bad I'm only staying here for one day. Tomorrow we leave for, uh, we're in Bregenz, Austria right now. Tomorrow we leave for Vienna. It's a seven hour drive. <laughs> At least I'm not gonna feel pressure. I think we're taking the train now. So I'm actually, that's gonna be cool. Seven hours, relax, beautiful scenery. That's, that's fine by me. It sure beats me <laughs> in the airport or stuck, not worried, not knowing where I'm going to, oh, anyway, now I know where I'm going. Take our time, relax, slow down. Hope you enjoyed this little quiet moment with me. Oh, the music last night was so much fun. And that, I think that speaks to um, Jasmine's musical expertise. I mean, we've been playing together for a long time, but uh, we can do this. We can just jump in and play and as if we've been rehearsing <laughs> uh, all the time. And she's just so amazing. She's so wonderful. She can play. It's easy to follow her. Um, and her friend Tony joined us on both the flute and the saxophone. Boy, that guy's a 
total genius. And he was so delightful. And it's a little, little weird because you know, well, the whole second half it's all these jazz pieces that uh, oh, we had we didn't have time to rehearse, so we were just kind of like just throwing it together at the moment. But somehow it all worked, you know. And and I, I we just had fun. We just had a delightful time enjoying each other's company and. And frankly, for me, being so grateful that I could be there, you know, it was uh, really hit and miss for, for a bit. I just didn't know. I remember, you know, that panic feeling of not knowing how I was going to get to Austria at all to, you know, just worrying about whether I was going to get to the concert on time from the airport. And it all worked out. It all worked out in the end, you know. And I want to thank everybody, all my Facebook friends. You guys have been so wonderful. Thank you for all your words of encouragement. Thank you for all your support and your prayers and just cheering me on and um, and sharing this wacky adventure with me. Oh my goodness, you know, I was, you know, as leading up to this trip thinking about, you know, how I was going to get into creating a travel vlog. I've made videos, but never kind of on the road like this. And thinking about how am I going to start this? Oh man, what a start to my vlog. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Couldn't ask for anything more dramatic. It's almost like the producers are saying, okay, what new thing can we throw at him? To, what new disaster can we cook up for this guy? Really? Really? <laughs> it just keeps getting worse. Well, we've been through it. We got through it. The concert was great. Uh, but I am very, very grateful. I think that was part of why I enjoyed last night so much. I was just very grateful. Very grateful to be there, to have gotten there safely, to be given the gift of being able to share music with folks and just to be in a warm, welcoming environment. Um, just in, in enjoying some wonderful Austrian foods, the cakes, but they had this, this, this noodle sausage dish, very simple. But so wonderful. And I think they call it Vunu. Vu for Wurst or the sausage. It's all chopped up. And Nu for noodles. Vunu. I'm not supposed to share that. It's supposed to be a, an internal Austrian secret. <laughs> but if you ask for Vunu, <laughs> you're in the know for this amazing Austrian pasta. Very simple, lightly cooked. And that's the thing. I had like two bowls of this stuff. Normally with pasta, I eat a little bit, I get full. But this was just light pure, clean, delicious. Oh my, I could eat that all day. It was home comfort food. Wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Anyway, I, I'm rambling, but uh, yeah, just very, very grateful. Grateful to be here. And, you know, very thankful to enjoy such a, such an inspiring view like this. This is, this is really, really beautiful. So, anyway, everybody, thank you so much for going on this journey, and really it's just the beginning. <laughs> what a start. We still have to get to the capital and make our way there, and there's a lot of work ahead, but uh, it's been so much fun sharing these videos with you guys and sharing this adventure. And um, all right, I'll, until next time, I'll see you.